Success in business is not a mere set of logics and loads of investment. It's the intuition of experienced and brave entrepreneurs. It requires leadership, speculation, and business acumen. In the early 1980s, when no one recognized the potentiality of the IT business in Bangladesh, Amra Companies, formerly named Texas Group of Companies, was founded by late Mr. Esif Ahmed, a respected chartered accountant of his time and also the founder of Esif Ahmed and Company. Who could have imagined that mobile subscribers would exceed 8 crores in just a decade? Who could have speculated that the internet would become such an indispensable part and parcel of our day-to-day -day lives? Though Mr. Esif Ahmed was an accomplished chartered accountant, he speculated the future of the tech business and patronized his sons, Mr. Syed Farooq Ahmed and Mr. Syed Farhad Ahmed, to be entrepreneurs. I think um, our founder chairman was the most inspirational for us in, in getting into business. We were not supposed to be getting into business. We were supposed to be chartered accountants um, because he, came, he had such an illustrious career as a chartered accountant and he wanted his two sons to be chartered accountants. Uh, circumstances uh, were such that in the early 80s, he realized that it's better we think about being businessmen because after liberation, there was a vacuum of business owners in Bangladesh, in the then Bangladesh. And um, he realized very quickly that um, it would be more becoming for us to become businessmen and to own our own businesses. I think while we were abroad, we realized that um, there's just so much of opportunity in Bangladesh. You know, it's absolutely a greenfield uh, opportunity. And um, we should actually, I think, uh, focus our skill set or whatever knowledge we have um, been privileged enough to gain uh, from home and abroad, from various institutions that uh, we, we were privileged enough to uh, be a part of, um, to actually bring back and, and uh, develop uh, institutions by which uh, we can have, um, uh, I think, um, uh, production of uh, wonderful uh, products and services that can help um, enhance um, the, um, the future of Bangladesh. Texas Resources and Electronics were formed in the 1980s and thus started the story of revolution. CAD CAM Tech were introduced in Bangladesh. Embroidery added a new dimension to the apparel business. POS terminals introduced by AMRA changed the way people make payments. And AMRA still leads the business with 70% market share. AMRA also led the way of building today's nationwide ATM network. Every four plastic cards out of five in Bangladesh are secured by AMRA. 75% of the payments you make by credit cards are processed through AMRA terminals. When you key in security pins and financial transactions, the technology of AMRA is behind it. 3G internet services offered by two top mobile operators are backhauled by AMRA. 60 Gbps out of 200 Gbps data in Bangladesh today flows through AMRA. We're also the active technology partner of 35 banks. AMRA has maintained a laudable reputation, being gathered over three decades of time for enterprise sales, support and distribution in various aspects of business like IT, garments and machinery, outsourcing and professional development. We are among the market leaders of the country in wherever we are concerned. AMRA has partnered with world-renowned brands to offer excellent value to society. AMRA Technologies is the only platinum partner of Oracle in Bangladesh. We're also the first cloud and hosted service provider of Microsoft in the country. In 2012, Amra Technologies Limited was the first among Amra companies to be publicly listed and traded in stock exchanges. Since then, it has ensured value to thousands of investors and shareholders. It's one of the most active IT companies traded in the DSE and CSE. In this eventful journey of 32 years, AMRA takes pride to have served more than 5,000 organizations and enterprises. AMRA is a local conglomerate of 11 successful concerns. The seed, sowed in 1984, is now a giant. AMRA Networks Limited, a strategic business unit of AMRA companies, has been serving corporate Bangladesh since 1997. Today, it's the largest B2B internet service provider of the country. 
It's not only one of the very successful business ventures of Amra, it has also set many new standards for the internet industry. 60% of the email in your inbox has reached you through Amra networks. If you name 10 big companies of Bangladesh, eight of them are our internet users. We are the largest solution provider of video conferencing in Bangladesh through our partner, Polycom. We've always been the pioneers in introducing new ways of doing business. In 2001, we installed the first radio-based internet connectivity. In 2003, we were the first ISO-certified ISP of the country. In 2005, we were the first to connect to the submarine cable network. In 2007, we signed the Bangladesh Export Processing Zones Authority, and today, 80% of the electronic communication of the exporters are enabled by AMRA networks. In 2009, the company was listed by Dun & Bradstreet as one of the top 500 companies in Bangladesh. In 2011, AMRA set up its first data center in Bonani for the disaster recovery site in Dhaka EPZ. 2013, AMRA contested with international ISPs and became the official internet service provider for ICC Cricket World Cup, co-hosted by Bangladesh. In 2015, AMRA extended its network, setting up a data center in Equinox, Singapore. AMRA is the only company to have direct pairing with Facebook. We're the largest host of Google and YouTube in Bangladesh. We're the only company to have direct pairing with Microsoft in Singapore. Our infrastructure connects more than 3,500 factories and offices, and they're monitored and supported by a 24-7 call center and state-of-the-art customer support software. The company is a major contributor of recently launched We Smart Solutions, which is more than just a phone. The cloud and the Wi-Fi solutions of We are powered by Amra Networks Limited. Behind these successes, we believe our dedicated professionals are the main contributors. It's the result of our belief in the power of We. I think uh, one of our most important um, resources that we have, our backbone, is our human resource. Um, the people, the manpower behind our companies and whatever we do. We place uh, tremendous importance on hiring the best, keeping the best, and developing them along with our businesses. So that at, at no point of time will we feel uh, that we, our resources, our human resources, are of any way lacking for what we need to do in the market. It's easy to set up a good company. You can have a nice office premises, you can have wonderful office furniture, um, fantastic air conditioning systems. But the real difference between a good and a great company is the people that are working in that, uh, in that environment, in that uh, institution. They make the difference and it's the attitude, it's the confidence, it's the delivery, it's the commitment, it's the customer service. Um, all of that combined, I think, clearly defines the difference between a good and a great company. I like technology, I take care of transmission, and that's why I love Amra. I like their openness and culture. Wonderful atmosphere and cooperative colleagues. My management team are special and caring. I like the people I work beside. They are just like a family. Omen Empowerment. Generating tomorrow's solution today. Amra Networks Limited, over the last two decades, consistently provided its customers with state-of-the-art IT communication solutions. Our clients have been able to rely on our ability to provide stable and consistent connectivity. That, in turn, has ensured us an enviable list of blue-chip customers. When internet and related value-added services are critical input to a business, corporate Bangladesh has one obvious choice. Amra. At Amra, we are a mid-promoter of sports and culture. With all this experience and reputation, Amra Network Limited is now looking forward to explore the huge opportunity of the booming information technology market around the world. When the first ever computer was built, no one imagined that someday Apple would gross a revenue larger than most of the developing nation's GDPs. Actually, this is the nature of technology. It expands so fast that it overrules any sort of speculation. 
Today, you'll find at least four ICT corporations out of the 10 most profitable organizations in the world and counting. People have just a little idea how this industry is going to surround them in the next few decades. They don't know they won't be able to live without the internet for seconds. Every amusement, every home appliance, from TV to car, will be guided through the internet. Every business, every institute, even every money transacted will be online. But here comes the practical problem that must be faced. At first, who's going to secure the everlasting demand of the internet? We already have near 60 million internet users in Bangladesh and internet capacity has grown from 10 Gbps to 200 Gbps since 2012. Gentlemen, you are among the top 1% privileged citizens of the country. You have laptops, smartphones, tabs and internet television sets. Storing data doesn't worry you that much. But think about the rest 99% who probably have just a smartphone. They may not have much storage space to save their memories. No one is interested in erasing their data. They take selfies, they download movies, send emails, and they don't want to delete it all. But how can they preserve it on their own? Even while you're watching this video, the amount of data being created all over the world will have exceeded the data generated in the entire 18th century. By 2017, over 5 crore people of Bangladesh will have access to smartphones and will constantly create data. And by 2020, if you convert the annual data of the world into books and preserve it in shelves, you will have traveled to the sun more than 3,000 times by their length. Let's come back to Earth. The only closest solution for exponentially increasing data is the cloud storage, where they can securely store their data. But we're talking about such a dilemma where the demand of data storage will be unlimited and the supply will be vastly inadequate. And when demand exceeds supply, well, here's the business. Amra Network Limited is seeking your investment, guidance and partnership to enrich Wi-Fi spots, data centers and IT infrastructure expansion. Did you know by 2017 it will not be feasible to produce featured phones anymore? All the 10 crore mobile phones in Bangladesh will be smartphones. All the smartphones will be requiring the internet. Therefore, AMRA is planning to deploy Wi-Fi networks all over the country. We have already rolled out 500 plus hotspots and we're all set to roll out another 1,500 with the new investment. Each Wi-Fi hotspot can be rented out to eight companies and we have already signed agreements with two top mobile operators and two international IT companies. The expected break-even of this project is no more than six months. With the new investments, we're also planning to build one of the finest data centers of the country to meet the growing need of computing and data storage. All the 60 banks, six mobile operators, thousands of enterprises shall be requiring data centers to meet their business needs. Since a major portion of them is already connected to AMRA, these businesses shall be able to reduce their capital and operating expenses and elevate business efficiency. Within six months of introducing the first enterprise cloud in Bangladesh, we have already secured more than 100 customers. We hope we shall be able to accommodate more than 500 customers in our planned data center and secure return on investment within a year or so. Amra Networks is one of the biggest network service providers of the country. But 95% of our business is generated from Dhaka and Chittagong only. So far, we haven't been to other cities, as we did not see much IT involvement or business case for that matter. But time has evolved. Most MNCs, banks and corporates now want to engage with their clients outside the capital and port city also. In the last two years, with the introduction of new IT infrastructure licenses, the growth we experienced has been phenomenal. With the new investment, we would like to upgrade our existing infrastructure in Dhaka and Chittagong. We also plan to use the major part of the new investment to expand our network, infrastructure and distribution points in other major cities of the country. Presently, Amla Networks Limited meets only 15% of the IT needs of its existing customers. With the immediate new investments, Amra shall be able to increase it to 35%. With your participation, we shall be able to double our revenue in the next one year and grow manifold in the years to come. We have already planned to build the best IT intelligent building in our three bigger land in Nasirabad, Chittagong, which shall stand tall as an icon of future digital Bangladesh. We are entering such an era where ICT will lead the market as mobile phones led in the 1990s.
And here, we request your support. We request you to consider to participate in this journey. Trust us. Amra believes in the power of we. Together, we can build an amazingly thriving digital Bangladesh. Together, we can be the future Bangladesh.